Hey everyone, I'm just showcasing the new digital kit that I've just published on my Etsy shop. They are all, well the main images are all 16th century studies, I, I think they are really, of, of butterflies. There are 18 pages in total in the kit and they include, I get rid of all these, we have, there are seven main pages. So the first one, really, really colourful, really bright, and really, those of you that know my my work know that I like big bold splashes of colour, and that's what these are. These fit the bill brilliantly. And that's number three, and that's probably one of my favourite ones. Number four. And um, number five. Yep, you're not going to get much brighter than that one. Uh, this one's the oddball out of them. Different artist, or back in the day, botanist. But it's um, the colours were just so striking. It's like, mm, I'm going to put it in, whether you use it or not. <laughs> it's entirely up to you. But I do like those. And that's the last one. Um, I don't know about any other country, but in the UK, yeah, we have plenty of those in our back garden. So those are the seven main kits, uh, seven main pages. And then there are uh, two lined pages, so very sort of faint watermark butterflies in the corner. And the same again on that one, different images, so different butterflies on that one. Oh, excuse me. And then we have watermark pages. Now, I was contacted by one lady that was quite disappointed that I'd put the images in the middle. And so, sort of, I will explain. I use these in the centre uh, of my signature. So, sort of fold it in half and stitch straight down the middle. And it just gives me a bit of interest. Now, I've printed them on both. If I put them side by side, I tend to use the ivory paper. But I know a lot of people use white, so you can just see for comparison, if you like, the two different, how they look and work differently on the cream as a, or ivory as opposed to the white ones. So that's number two of the centres. Oh, my hands are getting in the way, I am sorry. And then... Number three, and the final one, number four. Oh, there we go, you can see that one better than me. And then for ephemera, I've print, I've got, they're almost ATC size, these cards are. Now these are what I tend to use for pockets or for tuck spots. Um, I'm not that big on ephemera and there are so many other ladies out there that do very fancy pockets and what have you so I'm afraid I've just stuck to basics so these ones like I say are what I tend to use in my journals but just as easily they can be once they're cut out they can be used as uh, to clip on a page as part of a collage yeah very very endless possibilities with that one and then we have a page of large tags. I thought I've got to add a caterpillar on because unless we have those, we don't get any of the butterflies or moths. And then we have a couple of large envelopes. So that one's the first one. And that's number two. And then note cards. Oh, back in focus. So note cards, so two different note cards, both to fit in the large pockets. And then I've added on some little butterfly images at the bottom. If you want to fussy cut them or just generally sort of cut round and use them as a decoration. I thought, do you know what, give you the, give you lovely people the option and you can 
choose what you want to do with them. So there we go, 18 pages. I have listed everything, well they're all listed as one kit, so it is um, two zips that will be downloaded. So there we go. Um, thank you very much for watching and I'll put a link to the listing below. Bye.